idea. Wow, that's very cool. JW10387 gifted a tier 1 sub to Sinister Dev 85. They have given 26 gift sub. Fucking scam train. Fucking love it. If only you could see Walk on water, if you believe. Yes! Fucking 90s techno vibes, get it up. <sighs> I am offline. Did I just F? Wow, six months oh. already? Fuck. Pog. From the four corners of the globe, whoever the fuck you are right now, my name is Will Neff. And I'm the undisputed king of late night. <sighs> so from me to you, here's a very hearty... Hey no! Hey no! Yes, Haas on Twitch. Yes! Shower me with your juice. I showered for this. Get your fucking hands up, you slags. Sheesh. Put your hands up. Dude, Put your that smite tournament was so long. So long. It's been eight hours. Detroit. Have fun though. Um. Ah. Uh, uh, I loved my team and my coach. They were awesome. They were a lot of fun. They were good people. But I don't know, man. It's really tough playing a MOBA with people who have like played the MOBA before. Like this, the skill gap between Team Dave, Team Tectone, and every other team was so omnipotent that it was like oh okay <laughs> nice but other than that i had a lot of fun my team was fun put your hands up for detroit, put your hands up for detroit. i love this city Bro, I need, I need, I need some fucking, I need some basement and I need some jacks and I need it yesterday. I'm just going to warm up a little bit. New react content. Oh boy. Oh yeah, wow. That's very cool. Neff girls got to eat. Joe Schmo? The fuck is Joe Schmo? Joe Schmo show. How is he gonna react? WTF is this? I don't play Smite and I hate yep. guys, Keith. Yep. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. Yeah. Hey, Soda, don't RZ worry about it. At least you're a rank one druid. I'd be happy if RZ. Yeah, true. Is he gonna cry? We really didn't know how he was gonna react. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm banned. Someone no. is looking down on me. That's a bathtub stream. Who did this? Listen, calm down. I am not doing softcore anymore. Yeah, Noah, yeah. our, our Norl. Wim, Wimblows, thank you. Hook, line, and sinker. I want to ride with you to the end. 
right what now, is this? It really hit Matt hard. What is going on? What? Are, are they fucking with him? What would you do if your entire world turned out to be fake? If an army of writers, producers, and actors spent over a year creating TV's oh. most elaborate experiment of oh. If they plotted your every move, oh, yeah, wow. recorded it 20 Blue 57, thank you. And put it on national television. Well, that's exactly what happened to this guy. Meet Matt Kennedy Gould. <laughs> that is so fucked up. That's for cool. All right, that might be our next show. That's actually really funny. Um, that's really funny. I think that's funny. Oh, wow. that's for cool. Thank, Thank you. you so much for the 17 months. Um, bro, I need. I do. Oh yeah! Wow, that's for cool. Nestle. I just need some good vibes, and I need them now. Silent Dog, thank you so much. How'd you like Smite today? Um, it's a fun game. I mean, it's it's a MOBA. I it's tough though, because I think Smite could be a lot more fun if it was a top down. I'm gonna be honest. I just I don't think the third person thing works at all. Um it just feels so clunky. Other than that, the game is fun as hell. Like the champions are 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 pretty cool. The skins are cool. Um, it feels fun. Um, I like the voice of it, but I I just feel like the the third person is like such a failed experiment. Um, any reason you didn't stream it? Yeah, it would hurt my numbers. I'll never say never. I'll never say never again. Oh, I'll never say never. You can do skill shots with the third person. That's why I like it. I don't know, man. It's just tough. Like, I don't know. I I think like it it just hurts the game. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Pokemon Unite feels like a tighter MMO than that it just feels kind of clunky but the voice of the game and the actual like experience of playing the game is fun And you know, I don't think it's a bad game though. Sub anniversary on my birthday. Thank you. Birthday. The world is dark soul. Thank you so much. Have a nice night. Happy birthday. Um, I, I'm gonna be honest. I think. I've gifted a tier one. Uh, Kyrian eighty eight. Thank you so much. Uh, I think for me, I suffered. Here is an animation trailer from China that looks dope. If you want to check it. An animation trailer from China. Best community on Twitch. I think I actually suffered from playing League of Legends jungle. Um, Toter Motor, thank you so much. Because like there were so many times where I was like, oh, this guy is dead to rights. Uh, Regest. We'd have like, dude, there was, there was two ganks in particular. There was one on Ares where we literally had him under our tower, same level, no gold advantage, no level advantage, 3v1. And he just wrecked us. And I talked to the coach afterward and he was like, oh yeah, he built a defensive item first. And I was like, what? Huh? How, what? <laughs> and I hit every skill shot. I was like, uh, okay, I just don't get it then. Uh, here's the trailer for that Chinese thing. Oh shit. So I love animations like this. So one thing you can tell with this animation is that they're animating more frames 
than you're typically used to. Uh, certain animations do this. They'll double double the amount of frames that they animate, and that's why it looks like so fluid. Sequin, thank you so much. You don't think this looks fluid? This looks insane. I mean, dude, that looks insane. What? Happy 21, Will. Thank you. It's so muddy looking. I think that's just the trailer, my guy. I don't take no shit from anyone. Um, that looks sick. And it was only a man experience that humanized the great entity. What? 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 Was so good, and the part with non Elvis music that had you worried was oh, greatly placed. You talking about Elvis? I gotta watch Elvis. Have you watched Diabolical on Amazon? I love Diabolical. I thought Diabolical was a lot of fun, except for one episode. Oh my god, the Aquafina episode was fucking terrible. Dude, it, it it was like laughably bad compared to the others. I was actually I was actually shocked at how bad the Aquafina episode was. I was like, one of these episodes is not like the other. It was laughably bad. Um Yeah, I'm gonna watch one episode of Barry. Thanks for putting me onto it. I'm on season three. Um now. Show is super good. Show is super... Dude, Barry is so good. Um, I heard you got the vid, William. Uh, listen, I have kind of felt crappy today. And uh, beyond that, I... uh Still watching the tournament, but was fun watching you play small. Oh, thank you. And everyone else had fun. Yeah, I, uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope we were content. That's all I... Dude, all I care about, honestly, is... If Smite benefit, if Smite benefited it from it, if OTK benefited it from it, and if the viewers thought it was good content, like I was trying really hard to just be funny, like just be weird and entertaining during the hours of downtime, because so many people were playing it, we were crashing the server. Hope you're doing okay. Oh yeah, the COVID. Um, so. Full disclosure, Caroline's very sick. I've been taking care of Caroline. Um, that's also the reason I didn't stream last night. I wanted to be able to, um, like, go take care of her, um, which is why I wasn't streaming. Um, dude, I swear to God, Austin Show always calls me during stream. Hello? Um, so... She's very sick. Knowing that you and um, amazing community yeah. just keeps me going when I feel like crap. Thanks for the entertainment. No worries. It's my pleasure. Um, and I was I was literally like sleeping in bed with Caroline, kissing her, like all that shit. And um, wow, Tectone's team won. Wow, that's crazy. I thought Dave's team would absolutely steamboat. Um, <laughs> like how Mizgif left, bro. Mizgif isn't even on the stream anymore. Um... Yeah, so she was very sick, and as you can hear, my throat is, like, a little off. And that's exactly what Caroline was saying, like, she was experiencing before she was, like, really sick. She basically was like, oh, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little off. I'm, You know, I'm feeling, like, a little raspy in the throat, and then, boom, full-blown COVID. And she's been sleeping for, like, the last 48 hours. So I've basically just been serving her food and, um, you know, making sure she's okay, giving her medication, um, and like keeping the house in order essentially before I think I start feeling really sick. Um, you got robbed during that fall guys tournament. Listen, guys, I feel fine about that fall guys tournament. And here's why, um, pretty much in every gaming event ever, I've taken one of the last place teams and I always promise people, I was like, yo, if I can draft my own team, like we'll be a competitive team. Everybody thinks I'm bad at video games because of how I place in Twitch Rivals tournaments. And I was like, just give me one tournament to prove that like 
me and my peoples can actually ball. And we came in and we actually fucking balled, bro. Especially, I don't know if people put this together. IPN was an alternate, dude. IPN only came in because uh, Wig, who had been practicing, had a really, really adverse reaction to the booster. And apparently he unknowingly had strep throat also. So he's been laid the fuck up. So IPN came in with like, I, I'm not bullshitting you, maybe came in 30 minutes before the tournament. Um, IPN is a Chad though. I fucking love that kid. Uh, if you don't follow IPN, go follow him. He's been amazing. Yo, willpower. That's me. That's my alt, bro. How was the smite thing today? It was good. It was just so, so long. Uh, we were in it for eight hours and I was like sick and tired and run down and I didn't really get to sleep last night because I just sleep on the couch. Um... I think Snuffy was doing Smasher Pass with the Smite Gods at one point. Dude, she got through the entire roster. <laughs> That's how much downtime we had. Um, 15 months of watching you be an inspiration. Hey, thank you. Watching you be an inspiration. Uh, there's IPN. Go follow him. I'm on Biscayne, baby. baby. I'm on Biscayne, baby. Out in Miami. Still getting faded. Oh yeah, wow, that's very cool. I feel like there was a couple of things holding you back from enjoying the game more. Um, are you talking about Smite? I mean, absolutely getting ragdolled by the top two teams didn't feel great. Um, Lazy Three Dick, thank you so much. Uh, Craggrath, thank you so much. I also got added. This is what I mean. I don't want to complain about this or make it a thing, but because they added that willpower guy to the server a week ago. I only had like 48 hours with my team and I, I played like basically as many games as I could with a sick girlfriend um, before, but like, I just didn't have enough knowledge of that game, bro. I, there were so many times where I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Um, Will powers in your discord. Hey, shouts to a legend while also doing fall guys. No, I had a lot of fun during the Fall Guys tournament. Hi, Will. Sorry for asking again, but have you watched RRR? No. Um. Um. Where's the hat from? Oh, this is a satire hat. I had a lot of fun during the um, Fall Guys tournament. Started well, Bur well, Burton today. What is well, Burton? Will well, button? Well, buttrin. What is well, buttrin? It's an antidepressant. Mm, learn something every day. Hey, any word on that when Fear and Malding is coming back? No. I've given up. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, I, I've fucking given up. OBB. Whatever. If it happens, it happens. It's all set up. We have a deal with Patreon, but like... Is there I'm, no VOD? I'm, is there no VOD? Uh, of what? Um, of this stream? I don't know. Doodles date, July 2nd, still, July 2nd. Uh, Lopi, thank you so much. Snuffy was streaming Will's team. Oh, yeah, I didn't stream the game at all. Did we finish watching alone? No, but at the beginning of the stream, I usually talk for an hour. Uh, you are a champ for doing so much and taking care of Caroline? Ah, uh, no worries. Are we watching? Are we aloneing tonight? Yeah. I got my speedy hot sauce. Thank you for recommending it. It's the best. You did great. Hey, thank you. Watch Hero Gasm? Possibly. Twitter tech tone status. Today I'm winning $100,000 on stream. Yeah, I mean, he was the only captain who got to pick his team, so I'm glad he won. That's very cool. Thanks. Thanks for six months, King. Shout out to the community for being so great. Hey, let's go. Uh, watched in Lyric Stream and everyone was loving your commentary. Really? I feel like they were kind of split. I feel like half of them were like, this guy is cringe. 
This dude is a cringe. Um, no, I love Tectone. I'm glad he won. Dude, it was either going to be Team Tectone or Team Dave, bro. Those teams were fucking good. They were good. Um, my dude, our captain told us Team Dave, uh, their jungler was a was a league pro, and his brother is a smite pro. And I literally, after our game, I didn't stream it, but I was like, Coach, like, how what what happened? How did I get so far behind? He was like, Bro, you never had a chance, dude. He's like, he was auto canceling stuff, like stuff that like I just can't teach you. And I was like, All right, okay, cool. <laughs> My man, they were they were cracked, bro. They were they were they were out for blood. Those dude, I'm glad that the finals were pogged though. Have you seen the bear? Highly recommend. Yeah, so I actually watched the bear. Um, I have mixed feelings about the bear, um, because the bear does uh some things so well. Um, the bear like some of the best kitchen photography I've ever or or, or film I've ever watched really strong characters, really cool concept, amazing tension. Like, I feel like the, the whole show is a pressure cooker. Um, however, I feel like the almost complete, like void of plot started to hurt the show badly. Um, I feel like the plot of the show happened in like the first episode and the last episode and every other episode was the exact same thing, in my opinion. I feel like episodes two through seven were all the exact same thing. It's just like, ah, oh, this, this girl, we're so angry in this kitchen. Oh, oh, no, fuck you, no, fuck you, hey, fuck you. And, I'm, and, and like nothing else was happening. But I think it's a show that could be really cool in the future. I thought I thought it was a very neat premise. I loved the cameos, Maddie the Madison and stuff. Uh Hofstra Fit 87. Thank you. Did you ever watch The Night Manager? No. Um insane and wrong depiction of Chicago neighborhood though? Really? Oh, that's for a cool. Any thoughts on playing? Insane and wrong? I full as someone who used to live in Chicago, I fully disagree with that take. Uh, Verso, thank you. I think it was a really. I I think at least they got the people right. Like the like Midwesterners with a big heart, but also like kind of a rough area. What part of Chicago? South Side. Uh, any thoughts on licorice pizza? I didn't get it. I, I don't understand what that movie was about. Um, oh yeah, the bullet train trailer looks good. Um, yeah, I mean, I know, I know, people were like in love with licorice pizza and I I liked it but I'm gonna be honest it felt like <laughs> it felt like a knockoff boogie nights to me it felt like boogie nights but I didn't know why I was supposed to pay attention to these characters Is, does that make any sense like boogie nights I understand why I'm watching it right it's a story about like John Holmes and porn and like it, it's like a very specific time and place. I think the only thing that was like specific about licorice pizza is that it was like during the gas crisis. Oh, yeah, wow. The rest of it, I was like, why am I looking at these characters? I, I, I don't know. Did you see Spiderhead? Yeah, I like Spiderhead until I found out it was a hundred million dollar movie, and then I was kind of embarrassed for it. Are you gonna be watching more alone? Yes, I am. In about 30 minutes. Um I think it's just a slice of life thing. Yeah. I I mean. Yeah. What a strange slice of life. 
the the statutory rape in this during the gas crisis slice of life did that not bother anyone else at all the statutory rape part of the movie Uh, Karen, thank you so much. Nef whammy, nef whammy. Nef whammy, nef whammy, nef whammy. Um, licorice pizza. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's about a 25 year old woman and like the multitude of different relationships she has before ending up with a 15 year old. That that is like actual spoilers. That's the whole movie. Did you say how you got COVID? Um, my girlfriend has it, and I'm in very close proximity. Apparently, it's based on a person's life. That makes it make more sense to me. Um, Will gets a compliment. Oh no. Oh, we watch this when Rich slaps my ass. Yeah, that just took me out of it. Um, I don't know. I thought it was a well... I mean, it's... You know. It's a very well-made movie. Um, I think PTA is still, like, a genius. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to say something. Part of the reason this movie doesn't work for me and, and forgive me. Um, Alana Haim and Cooper Hoffman cannot carry a movie the way that the cast of Boogie Nights carried Boogie Nights. Cooper Hoffman is not Philip Seymour Hoffman. And it's not because he's a bad actor. He's just really young and hasn't had the experience that Oh yeah, wow. That's for a cool Philip did. Game, I like it doesn't it doesn't mean that he's a bad actor. He just doesn't Man, I don't know. I disagree. He fucking ruled in that movie. Uh, he was good. It's tough. You put him up against his dad and I think his dad is like one of the goats, you know what I mean? Like that sucks, dude. That sucks. Like, even if he does a good job, you're going to compare him against his dad. He's like, like, pound for pound, maybe the best actor of our generation. Um, you've seen The Master, right? Oh, of course. Um, I don't know. It was okay. It was a decent movie. I Listen... The way that people were talking about it, the way that people kept asking about licorice pizza, I thought it was going to blow my nips off. I went into it like eyes open wide, like I am ready to cry. I am ready to feel things. I am ready to experience catharsis. And I watched it and I was kind of like, I don't know. Would you consider playing Smite in the future? Or was it a one-off for you? Um... I would never play it by myself. If my friends were playing it, or if there was another... Oh, God, I can feel my voice going. Or if there was another tournament, I'd play it. But, I mean... It's tough. It's in such stiff competition, man. Um... <whistles> Dude, the one thing that really pissed me off about... Licorice pizza is like how, how easy it makes or how easy it makes or, or it, it, yeah, it makes making money look at that period of time, right? Like j just this kid being like, I'm, I think I'm going to start an arcade now with 10 bucks. Okay. I own an arcade now. Um, Love your work. Love from Australia. A hey, big love to Australia. Big love to you. Um...
Um, let's go. Brilliant bum. Thank you. Have you seen Mad God? Not yet. Uh, it looks awesome though. I know it's been in the in the making for like thirty years. Um, dude, I can feel my voice going. Fucking fuck it. But I'm locked in here, so I might as well stream. Have you heard of or seen the unbearable weight of massive talent? I fucking love the unbearable weight of massive talent. I thought that movie was incredible. It was so funny. It was so weird. It was so different. I loved the performances. It's such an accurate depiction of a day on acid. I, f I fucking loved The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Like, like, a a in ter like, that was a movie I went in with very limited expectations, and I came out and I was like... <laughs> um, unfortunately, Unbearable Weight came out at the exact same time as uh, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. So it kind of got its like indie movie clout eaten up by the best film in five years. Um, and when I do that, I'll be back. Agent Orange, thank you. Nicolas Cage, bitch in technology. And after I do that project, I'll be back. Overhyped? Everything, everywhere, all at once? Disagree. Best movie of the last five years by like a wide margin. Um, have you watched the documentary on Woodstock 1999? No. Okay, now you gotta watch this. What is this? Pockets by Daniel? Okay, this looks cool. And it doesn't... I, I'm not sensing any booba. Let's take a look. Tommy, just come home. Everything is just falling apart, and uh, it's just not working. I'm making some food. We'll talk about it over dinner. Yeah, the exact same thing that we've been having for the past couple of weeks. Don't really... After the bagel thing, I couldn't pay attention to the film. It was just too silly. Um, I think you missed the point then. Choice. Forget about it. Uh, I'm gonna get us a nice dinner, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Come home. All right, I'll talk to you later. You promised. Tommy. All right, I got a knife. No worries, you won't. Is that my backpack pocket? Oh. <laughs> hey, is it not in there? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe it's in these pockets. Oh, no, pocket food. Pockets. Is this your half-eaten lunch, dude? Hey, don't you want my wallet? You weren't smart enough, kid. It's okay. No, I, I don't think it's a matter of being smart. I think it's like... I, I think it's like you have to the whole point of the, the, the bagel is to undress the idea that omnipotence or, or, or like order has some point, right? Like if, if the plot gravitates around some concrete element of like, I searched the universe and I found it, the meaning of life and there it is. And here's this thing. It's the obelisk from 2001, a space odyssey. Then like you kind of, surrender this this idea that like everything creates nothing and nothing creates everything right it's the yin and yang of it with omnipotence came like complete surrender almost hey who's tammy hello Wait, hi tammy that's not me hang up the phone right now yeah he's coming oh it goes both ways This is the weirdest kung fu movie. Just, 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 just
Oh no. I bet Tammy has pockets. Maybe I'll go visit Tammy. Tammy, what are you wearing right now? What? I'm wearing my overall. Please just listen to me, just take it off. Take all your clothes off with pockets and throw them away from you. Tammy, throw them away! Tommy! Oh no! Looking for someone? Tommy, what did you do? Yeah, Tommy. What'd you do? <laughs> Tommy, I'm sorry. I the pocket guy. Dinner. Is that what this is about? Your dinner? He just doesn't want to eat any more of these. Oh. Oh god, it's a pocket! Oh my god. Do you realize what you just ate? Uh, heat Punched. pockets? Punch through his stomach! Oh no. Yeah! That coat controls all pockets. My pockets. What are we gonna do without pockets? My pockets. <laughs> this is so dumb. Right. My pockets. I'll keep your hand warm. And burning pockets destroyed the earth. Also, I'll hold your stuff. Very good. Enjoyed that a lot. Pockets by Daniels. Very good. Um, where is my mind? Uh, if you didn't like everything everywhere all at once, um, I understand absurdism. Not for you. Not your cup of tea. That's fine. But uh, I do, and I stand by this, I do think that um, everything, everywhere, all at once will be a bellwether project. For a cool. Did you say you got COVID again? Uh, better if so. Yeah, I think so. Looking like Canelo Giganev. Thank you. I think uh, everything, everywhere, all at once is a bellwether project in, in, in the same way that like um, uh, Jason Bourne, the Bourne Identity was a bellwether project. Like after the Born Identity, there were so many movies that that has coordinated the raised, the raised. camera, like Born Identity, and they looked like Born Identity, and they paced the action like Born Identity. I think in terms of like filmmaking style, you will see a lot of films dialed into that like ADHD aesthetic from Everything Everywhere because it just felt like it just felt like the movie for now. Um, that like weird plot structure of like eight stories going on at once was such a triumph and it's so hard to do unfortunately i think it'll be very hard to emulate but in the same way that like after get out you had like 20 get out clones i think you will get a lot of everything everywhere all at once clones oh shit i got raided wow <sighs> thanks guys What's up? Um, for all the content and good vibes, less than three. Thank you. Uh, how y'all doing? It's Monday. Uh, I think I am in the early onset of COVID. I'm having some throat trouble. Uh, my girlfriend is very sick. I took last night off to um, take uh, care of my lady friend. And uh, yeah. Great job in the Smite tournament. Surprised you had enough stamina to stream after that. What do you mean, dude? This is every day for me. I'm at G4 like 12 hours every day. <laughs> um, thanks for the gifted sub the other day. Just saw it. Hey, you're welcome. Um, Hassan's playing Alien Isolation, eh? How's he liking it? Oh, yeah, well, Nathel, thank you. Cool. Dude, I just got over it and had it for a month. Oof, my God. He hates it. He loves it. Dude, Chibi Moon Moon and Seven Bo Bevan, two chatters, back to back. Chibi says he loves it, all caps. Seven, the very next chatter, all caps, he hates it. This is the duality of chat. Gingerbread fetus. Thank you. Um. Oh yeah! Wow, that's for a cool. Casala Bielatz. Thank you. Rest up, Willard Neffington Nafl. Um, rest up. Probably not, cause I have to sleep on the couch. So I'm just gonna keep going. Um. Will I have a beef yes. with your boy Nick Cage for his part in the film USS Indianapolis? Waited 40 years after Quint's monologue for a film to be made and got the trash. Neff Meltdown. USS Indianapolis? 
What the fuck is that? <laughs> Who? I've never heard of that movie. I've watched like every Nicolas Cage movie. I've never even heard of that one. Um, I'm a stud. I'm Parker Ann. I don't take no shit from anyone. I am on week four of fighting slash recovering yes. walking pneumonia, so I feel Oof. your pain. My God. Feel better. Um, it's a ship that went down in World War II. Yeah, I could put together that it was a ship based on the USS. I've just never heard of the movie. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. WTF was that. You don't even play Smite. <laughs> you hate Mirkiff. <laughs> I don't even play Smite and I hate Mizkiff. Um, Best fucking spam of all time. We need to get that as a copy pasta cracking for real, for real. Any advice on body recomposition? Bro, what do you, what what even is that? Talk about losing weight? Why did you say it like that? <laughs> is losing weight a slur now? I own symbol. That I. that felt like that felt like the new way of saying losing weight if losing weight was considered a slur. I'm working on some body recomposition. Oh, I'm just working on losing weight. Dude, it's 2022. What's your fucking problem? Oh, yeah, wow. um, cool. Hey, Will, are you a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender? No. If so, are you looking forward to the live action? Um... Um... Uh, Willie's worst take. I, I, I'm sorry. I just didn't watch it when I was a kid. I was not a Nickelodeon guy. I didn't like anything on Nickelodeon. I never watched it when I was a kid. I tried to get into it. I, I found it painfully boring, but I was watching it like 26. So I just don't have any of the, the oh, nostalgia. Cool. Uh, Mars Squirrel. Thank you. I'm going to be honest. I couldn't get past the animation. I think it looks like shit. Um, but people tell me it's like uh one piece where you have to like just power through like the first two seasons or something and then it's not so shit, but I could never get through the first season. This is your Mudkip take? I'm just being honest, man. I've tried, I've sat down and tried to watch it, I think on three separate occasions. And I just like, I just forget that I'm watching it. Like, I, I don't like that's for me. That's like when a show just doesn't work for me. It has no bearing on the quality of the show. But if I just like forget that I'm midway through a season and like go about my life, then it's just not for me. Um. Oh yeah! Wow. That's uh, cool. cafeteria table two one two. Thank you so much. Uh, bro, you just got to get through a, th a thousand episodes of One Piece. Gets fire. I actually believe that though. I actually believe that One Piece does get fire, but it's just so, such a commitment. Anymore. Shout out to Noah and the YouTube. My dude is working overtime on these videos. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Uh, the Code Breaker, thank you so much. Uh, in about 10 minutes, we're going to start watching alone, guys. But I always just pull dick for the first hour. My man, no. What's up? Um, any advice on pulling crystal mommies? Um, learn your astrology. But, I mean... For that, you pay a terrible oh, price yeah, wow. because That's you cool. actually have to learn astrology. Hey, Chad, going on an eleven-hour drive this Friday. Any audiobook recommendations? Um, Read all of Tolkien's books. Ooh, Tolkien.
Tolkien audiobook is good. Um, I'm trying to think of like what other audiobooks have slapped. Um, I don't know. Long ones. <laughs> um. Oh yeah! Wow. That's astrology is NFTs for girls. <laughs> Weakest it later gets much more adult and gets insanely good. Also happy fifteen months. Nephil, hope you. Yeah, the, the, it's true. The first season is the weakest. I mean, that's that's my problem. I, I'm gonna, dude. I I was just very honest about Avatar: The Last Airbender. I know it's not bad. Thank you so much. I know it's a good show. I've heard it's a good show. People I trust say it's a great show, oh, yeah, right? Wow. The opinion of people that I deeply, deeply respect tell me it's a great, great show. All I'm saying is I've I've tried to watch it three times, gotten mid-season through the first season, and forgot that I was doing it. And then it like a year goes by, and I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot I was watching Avatar. What was happening in that show again? There was like a flying oxen. Um, Appa, the disrespect guys, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it 1000 with you. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. For me, beast wars is a show that I love transformers beast wars, right? I fucking love that show. I love it. I fucking love it's got a it's got a soft place in my heart, right? So good. So fucking good. You want to know why? Cuz I watched it when I was a fucking grub worm. I was 7 years old and it was the most adult thing I had ever even comprehended. And then I go back and watch it and I'm like, "Ah. This oh is okay." But I still love it. Because I watched it when I was a grub. You have to accept the possibility that Avatar became a core memory for you because you watched it when you were a little tiny grub. Um, George of the George. Thank you so much. An enemy stand user. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, yeah, wow. That's very cool. So what makes it bad? The animation. I think the animation looks horrible. At least the first season. Like, the number of frames are, are like, horrible. Hang on, let's see if I can. It has to be him. Oh, it's just. Yeah, I mean, this just look. This just looks so bad to me. Like the way that everyone moves. I don't know. Oh yeah! Wow, that's very cool. I don't know. I'll try and watch it again. Um, guys, can you stop being weird? I don't like Avatar. Fuck off. <laughs> stop being weird. Avatar The Last Airbender was very important for animation. American You're being weird. Animation. This is like when you go to a restaurant with someone and they're like, I don't really care for uh, uh for onions. And you're like, eat some onions. Put some onions on your sandwich. Eat some onions. Have some onions. Why don't you eat onions? It's like, I, I just don't like onions, man. Relax. You're being those people. Why are you a picky eater? Are you a picky eater? I love onions. Mudkip take? No, because it's different than the mudkip take. I've never said 
that Avatar is bad. I've never said it's bad. The whole time, I've said, I respect the project. I think it's a good project. I know a lot of people love it. People I respect love it. I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's for me. I don't connect with any of the characters. I think it's too juvenile. I'm sorry. Like, I, you just are not going to get me to like it, I don't think. You can enjoy it as much as you want. I bet it's great. I bet you love it. It's just not for me, okay? Stop trying to finger my butthole. It's not for me. I don't like butt stuff. Thank you. Um... Hey, Will, I just wanted to thank you once again for coming on my stream on Saturday and helping me raise over $4,000 for the Trevor Project. Thanks for coming on my stream. Let's go, dude. Helping me raise over yeah, that's $4,000. I hope we are able to work together again in the future. Let's, thank you hey, for let's go. Support King Neff. Let's go, dude. That's, that's one thing that, like, I, I'm moving off Avatar after this. That's one thing that like is weird to me is like there are times that I will outright be like that thing sucked fuck that project that's bad right no bots arch like on a dollar what Dinobot oh Dinobot's a man like like example I think all the Harry Potter movies are dog water right and if I say that those movies are bad then you can argue it if I say I think Avatar is a good project it just doesn't appeal to me. That's so that's so different. And I I don't I don't understand when chatters get mad when I'm like 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 oh a, another movie, Killing of a Sacred Deer. I understand that that's a great project, right? Great project. Well-made film. Very good. Not for me at all. Fucking hate it. The like me saying something that something is bad versus something isn't for me is is totally different takes. And it, it's always so strange when like people can't even have you have like preferences on things like not not even that you're trashing the project just that you're just like I, this isn't for me <laughs> um can we get some more cold mo uh takes on star wars batman mudkip and tenant yeah dude for fuck's sake those projects and the lighthouse i swear to god avatar the lighthouse tenant I, I literally talk about these things every stream and people people surprise Pikachu. Um, it's probably because you badmouth the animation. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Like, I the project could be incredible, but like, I mean, when you when you put it up against like hand-drawn animations from that era, I like it's cute. I, I just don't like, I don't think it's bad. I just think like compared to like a Cowboy Bebop, which is an even older project Tower is a shitty anime chatters in this community i you know nothing about beautiful anime or like a wicked city or even like or even like a samurai jack i don't know all anime is shitty that's a fucking nuclear take that's such an insane take Primal was so good. Dude, Primal was so good. Primal was so good. Primal was amazing. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Primal and the last season of Samurai Jack are two of the best anim like animated projects. Two of the best cartoon projects of all time. Like, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. So good. So good. Um... Bro, the last season of Samurai Jack was fucking amazing, bro. It was so good. It was so good. I went into it and I was like, I hope this is good. You know, it's I I'm putting so much into this. My expect my expectations are so high. And then I watched it and I was like, What about Venture Bros? They have to fucking finish Venture Bros, dude. What a fucking coitus interruptus. Please finish Venture Bros. Please. Please.
Tim Mouse is working on it. Is that true? New movie soon? God, bro. I just like... V Venture Bros is... I'm yep. I don't take no shit from anyone. Started watching Burry at your recommendation. Yep. Stream. Mm hmm It's so far. Thank you so much. Venture Bros is insane. Thank you so much, Urban Legend, because it plays out like an episodic, right? If you watch Venture Bros for the first time, you really can pick up any episode in the entire series and get something out of it, right? But sounds like you yes. need a slim jam. Yep. Snum into a slim jam. Slarp into a slarm jarm. Um, however, when you watch Venture Bros like top to bottom. And you start to realize how well made like the character arcs are and like how far characters move from the beginning to the end. It's like, what? Huh? It's also so fucking perverted. Uh, we're on episode two of season six, right? Um... Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Episode three. Okay. Um, two? No, two. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those of you who are just joining me, uh, the first hour of my stream, every stream, is just time for you to talk to me and get these horrible takes. You want horrible takes? You come here the first hour of the stream, and I'm going to give them to you. Right? I'm going to spice up some bad takes, baby. Badtakes.com coming at you hot. Then after that, we do some reaction Andy stuff. Uh, we've been watching Alone. If you haven't watched us with it yet, um, it is a show uh, that basically was like, hey, that Survivor show is pretty cool. What if we put it on Trenbuterol? What if we give that show steroids? Right? I watched Barry on recommendation. Holy shit. Hey, I'm gonna cry not too. all my takes are bad. I'm gonna crumb. This is, this is a zombie fight. Thank you I'm so much. Ballsy. Yes? Take no shit from anyone. Metaloclips needs to be finished also. Metaloclips? Hello, this is my first well enough stream. Strap in, you fucking slag. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Um, So this show, they take 10 people out to um, Metaloclips. Yeah, Metaloclips is great. They take 10 people out to the wilderness um, and basically you survive as long as you can with extremely limited supplies. Extremely limited supplies, right? And the last one out there wins a half a million dollars. They do not tell you when other people exit the show. Oh yeah, wow. And the show... Tyler gifted a tier one sub to Arch for it. Thank you so much. The show can go on for a year. A year, 365 days. So it is intense. It is crazy. There are wild animals. Uh, people get violently injured every season. In this episode, in the first episode, a guy fell and broke his arm. Um, the last season, someone broke their back. It's super intense. Um, anyway, it's an amazing show. We really enjoy it. If you stick through to the end of a season... Some of the most profound observations about human beings, the human condition, um, and being around other people you will ever, ever see. Um, I have fallen in love with this show. We are on season six. We have four seasons left. I hope you stick around and give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> Wowie. Wow. You got cocked. Oh, feels bad. Got you. Ooh. We got you. Just when you thought you were going to see what happened with that moose. Wrong. So wrong. Not even close. You'll never know what happened with that damn moose. So stupid. <laughs> so close. I guess you're just gonna have to wait. Shame on you. 
Um, damn, I'm tired. Damn, I am tired. But, ladies and gentlemen, the show goes on. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, okay? I'm not leaving. We just keep going. We keep doing the damn thing. Um, for those of you who were there at the beginning of the stream, thank you so much for showing up bright and early. Um, you know, I gave you a lot of content today. I already did t eight hours of smite on uh, Snuffy and Lyric's stream. That was a lot of good shit. For those of you who joined in the Hassan raid, thanks for hanging out. There's a lot of you still here. I appreciate that quite a bit. For all my alone heads, thank you. Fuck with you, Heavy. But I'm not leaving just yet. No, I am not. What? Will? You're not leaving? No. I'm not fucking leaving. Why? Because we're watching my favorite show on television. We're watching The Boys. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are watching. Da boy stop boy stop boy stop boy stop boy stop boy stop boy. Um, we're watching The Boys, baby. Um, so I'm excited for this. Uh, we've been, we plowed through season one. We watched two episodes of season two, then skipped. And we've been plowing through season three. All right. Um, damn, now I got to tap out because of spoilers. Hey, I appreciate that. That's why I'm giving a little spiel right now. I know some of you got a, got a bail, but here's what I'd say. Just go ahead and leave my window open. Why not? And why not? You know? Just leave that bad boy up. So tired, Keck. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep last night and I had to wake up so fucking bollocks early for that um for that uh smite tourney. And let me tell you, waking up so early for that hurt. Especially because we didn't get started for two hours after when I was supposed to start. I gotta go. I haven't started season three. Bye. Hey, no worries. Do you censor any of the content? No, I do not because I use Amazon Prime Watch Party. So everything I watch will be uncensored, baby. Totally wild and funky fresh. For those of you headed out, I get it. You don't want season spoilers. That's fine. Go ahead and just drop your Prime before you go. It's the smartest thing to do. Just drop your Prime and say, hey, I'm gonna fuck you softly. I'm gonna bone you sweetly. I'm gonna hump you sweetly. I'm gonna bowl you completely. All right, we're watching episode four, right? Oh yeah, wow, that's for a cool pog. We are on episode four, right? Yep, yep, yep. All right, let me just mute this. There goes the music. All right, spark it up. I'm gonna hump you. Peace out, Will. See you guys later. Thanks for your thanks for staying around. I appreciate you. Here we go. Episode four, season three. Just doing it out here. Billy, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. And I just love your flashy ways. A relatively small bridge. Thank you. 1 a.m. here. Tab up. Peace. Hey, no worries, guys. I totally get it. My boys' heads, they get so pissed at me when I don't watch the boys. My boys' heads go crazy for the boys. They go, we need boys. We need, we got to have boys. We got to have more boys. And then when I don't watch the boys, they get sag. So at the end of the stream, I watch boys stuff, okay? All right, guys. I have to get a little water. 
My throat's kind of killing me. I'm going to stretch my legs, take a pee-pee, and I'll be back. But it's up. It's good for watching. There's the alt links there, right there. It's my favorite show on television. Got to get balls deep, baby. I'll be right back. Sorry for the delay, you slags. Had to, <coughs> had to stretch my legs, but I'm back. Someone said, um, that cough? Yeah, I have COVID, dude. My girlfriend has COVID. I streamed. <coughs> I basically did... 13 hours today with COVID because I'm a fucking monster. Oh, we almost have a scam train. Yep. Courageous. Fuck me seriously, Will? Yep, yeah, seriously. Was that Harold in the purple crayon? A gentle reminder. Dude, I fucking love Gustavo Frain so much. Who's Zoe? It's AOC's daughter. Gus looking at you too. He's looking at you, kid.
Is she listening to Cream Soda? Sai Ship Pier, thank you. Trump reference. This is the woman that gave Trump a golden shower. Money printer go. <laughs> she is pure evil. I like the way he says wiggle room. Home light. Hashtag home light. Hashtag home light. <laughs> Hashtag home light. <laughs> so, I'm so stupid. I'm so tired. I want his suit so bad. He's stepping up. I love when her eyes do that. Hashtag Will Light. Now you're talking, dude. Hashtag Will Light is what? I, yes. I love how he signed his fucking cast.
Trent makes the world takes. Yeah, when, Ashley? Dude, I love this. The fucking Kim Kardashian commercial. <laughs> Not, it, wait, it wasn't Kim Kardashian. Which Kardashian was it? Kendall Jenner, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I love how that ad was there for a, like a day. <laughs> Dude, we got to find it. We got to find the Kendall Jenner Pepsi commercial. Yes, bro. All right, you guys won't be able to hear it, but look at how similar it is in my little corner of the screen. Dude, it's literally identical. She she's like, "Huh?" They're just pop locking on the street. It's time for a protest. They even got the color of the signs right. It's the same signs, bro. <laughs> Dude, so good. I hope that picture in picture worked. I've never shown companion content with a watch party. I hope that like worked. Omega Red. Hmm. Hmm. Couple of licks. Mm. <clears throat> Fucking Pog song. Bang, <laughs> bang, Uh, 
Oh, no. <laughs> Even Russian news is ripping on him. Huey. Wolverine. Kimiko. Don't make her do it. Okay, Butcher. <laughs> Butcher does not give a fuck. Butcher is a feminist. He just treats everyone like shit. <laughs> He's equal opportunist. Baby, got your license to drive. Baby, 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 got your license to drive. Got your license to drive. Thank you, Bucky. All I can see is Will Neff. That's all you need to see. What's up, Austin Show? Bro, I'm falling apart. I was falling asleep on stream. I have to keep moving like a shark or else I pass out. <laughs> Your former lover. Dude, they did the Trump taco bowls. They literally did the Trump. Cinco de Mayo. I think I'll have myself a delicious taco bowl. Mm, delicious. Best in town. Huge. Honestly, though, fuck A Train. <laughs> She's doing the Charlie Kelly and mouthing the words.
you kind of like A Train. I honestly dislike A Train the most of all the seven. He sucks, dude. Wait, what? Even the rapist? He murdered Huey's girlfriend by running through her. And then he murdered his own girlfriend by poisoning her. If if you dislike the deep because of his violence towards women, the A train is a serial murderer of women. <laughs> but people are like, I like him. He's good. You know what? I I he's okay. <laughs> I dislike the deep more. I dislike them both a lot. But A train is the worst. But he's woke? No, he's not. They they make it clear he's trying to take advantage of that shit. Oh, punched him in the gills. Nice hit. Both of them suck. A train is worse. I I agree. Damn. Teacher's pet. Chat be like, I kind of like Blackwater. They have a rainbow logo for Pride Month. Fuck no. <laughs> they still got Huey crying. True. What? Is nudity allowed to be watched on watch parties? You can watch whatever you want on a watch party. Amazon assumes the liability.
Oh, hell yeah, baby. Let's get into some action. Ready, ready for action. Oh, my God. Poison. Spooner, 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 spooner. Oof. Great sound cue there. Dude, whenever I wear heels, I think of the Charlize Theron quote. Tight, tight core, long neck, shoulders back, think murder, strut. Fucking love that shit. King Kitty Muffin, thank you for the prime. Contrabanda. Oh. <laughs> yes. The silent screamer. Star Spangled Banger. The Flounder Pounder. God. Chat, stand up. Chat, stand up. Oh! The silent screamer! Oh, oh my God. Dicked to death. I wonder what the Maeve one would be called. Take a guess. The Maeve, Queen Maeve, the Queen's Gambit. <laughs> oh, oh, that was the translucent one. It's a starlight one? Hell yeah. Do me. Do me. Do me next. Do me. Oh, you done fucked up now. Now you have fucked up. Kill him. <laughs> no witnesses. Well, no, she shot her in the head. Among Us. Fuck. Ah. 
Got him. Gustavo Freem. Oh boy. Mm. Gustavo Freen got godded. He got wheelchair belled again. <laughs> and is your idiot brain getting fucked by stupid? <laughs> and what if I said yes? Oh no, Star Spangled Banger again? Who doesn't have one of these things? Okay, that's big. That's that's big. <laughs> Get wild with those hands. Saw an interview all over sign language. Is it her own invention for the show? That is wild. So cute.
Because home is where the book is, chat. That's how it's Marseille. Oh, God. Freak, dude. <laughs> Fucking freak. Mm. Oppo research. Jesus. Someone's got to get her ass eventually. Oh, yeah. Juice time. Juice up. Juice world. Gus looking at you, baby. Bro, if I could get superpowers from doing a drug, I would be on that shit heavy, son. You don't want no part of this, Ricky Bobby. You wouldn't download a superhero. Please. You don't want no pieces, Ricky Bobby. This is reefers, Huey. Mm. Ha. Oh. 
I don't. God, Gustavo Freeman is so cool. Oof. Let's talk about shit. Daddy? Foreshadowing. Damn. Bad product. She's giving her the super juice. Got to juice your kid up with the V. If you want him to be able to compete, got to juice him up. Cold world. directly into the spine. Oh, damn. V is green though, temporary V is green, permanent V is blue. Color coordination. You got to juice them up. <laughs> juice your kids. Juice your kids. Yeah, the <laughs> fucking Rocky for reference. I'm about it. Brown, 
with big gnashing teeth. Oh, Sorcerer Tim. <laughs> oh my god. They put that hamster on Adderall. <laughs> Oh my god! That hamster is on Adderall! What about... Oh, God. Use the holy hand grenade. Yes. Evening, you slags. Butcher loves it, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, Yankees guts out. Huey's dick is huge. He's got that fat cock meat. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. Cause it's awesome. Let's let's be real. It's fucking rad. It's cool. And we would all do it. It's fucking rad. I loved it. I and I'd do it again. And I'd fucking do it again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Space boy. Boop, boop, ba -doom. Hey, Space Boys viewers. I'm just finishing an episode of The Boys right now. Finishing an episode. Thanks for joining me. Hope you had a wonderful stream, Space Boy. Currently in uh, COVID lockdown USA. My girlfriend's got COVID. I probably have COVID. Played eight hours of Smite today. Then I did a uh, five-hour stream. So I'm just about to wrap up, but it's always nice to have guests. So thanks for stopping by. Fucking Weapon X. Oh, he's juiced.
That boy is Buck Walters. You thought Huey's cock was huge. Get a look at that. So fat you can see it from the back. Damn. Got hit with that beam. Get beamed. Oh. The healing factor. Who's the X-Men who's got a power like that? It's Havoc, right? The one that goes... He beams out of his stomach. Cyclops' brother? Yeah. We're, we're just getting fucking started. We're just getting fucking started, you slag. Oh, fuck. Do not take that invitation. Do not take that invitation. Do not collect go. Do not collect $200. Yeah. Yo, dude. He killed my man off camera and he ripped his fucking leg off. He killed my man off camera fucking no country for old men style, bro. Damn. <laughs> no plotting, no planning, no playing around. This guy sucks. Not if he's juiced out of his skull. Damn. He's going to leave her on top of a building after fucking murdering her boyfriend. Bow, bow, bow. 
This soundtrack reps. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put in five hours streaming, put in eight hours on the OTK Smite tournament today, which brings me to a whopping total of 13 hours of content today. Wow. It's almost like this kid isn't sick. Almost. Um, but, uh, I got nothing left in the coat, uh, in the, in, in the fucking tank, bro. I, I was literally falling asleep during alone. I enjoyed that episode. I wanted to give my boys, my, my boys noise, some juice. Lauren G. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the juice tonight. Thanks for taking care of me. Thanks for allowing me to do this for a living. I had so much fun with my team today. Hey dude, that's two back to back tournaments where I placed one outside the money. Dude, what a difference from placing last in every single tournament. The kid is gaming. He's a gamer. You got to put res some respect on my fucking... Put some respect on his name, dude. Put some fucking respect on his name. He's back, dude. And he's gaming. Giving you that good gaming content, baby. We got some good gaming content coming soon. Uh, we got all kinds of content coming soon. Jesus, it's like four days till the first episode of Doodles. I filmed another pilot the other day with some amazing special guests. That's coming soon. Um, I think there might be some content from Europe coming up. Uh, if I can get myself healthy again. But anyway, thank you so much for all that you do. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for allowing me to do this for a living. It means the world to me. I hope I give back a fraction of what you give to me, to you. I hope I entertain you. I hope I keep your spirits up. I hope I make you laugh. And uh, I hope I can keep doing this for many years. Because... It makes me really happy. Oh yeah, wow, that's for a cool. If it was your first time tonight here, thank you so much for that tier one. If it's your first time here tonight, I hope you come back. If you're one of my long timers, you know who you are. 